welcome back uh, in the Cosmos series. And today it's gonna be interesting because we are going to break down the Cosmos structure, which is which is very important uh, because when we are going to create the Cosmos DB, these things will come uh, into the picture and you should be aware of those things, how these things work. Uh, those kind of stuff. And we already talked about the uh, performance measurement or request units, how those can be applied. And if we are applying on the database level, it's going divided at the container level. But we need to understand what these levels are, right? Who comes under who? So let's get started. And at the very top, at the top level, we, we, we already talked about it when we were creating the Cosmos DB. It's Cosmos account, where we provide the account name, okay? So at the top level, we create Cosmos account and every account can have one or more databases. The thing that you need to keep in mind is when we create the Cosmos uh, account, we already selected the API. In our uh, demonstration, we selected the SQL API. That means in that particular account, you could have only that API, but you could have a number of databases, right? You can have more than one databases, but only single API will cater, okay? Uh, similar, so if you need a different uh, API support for your Cosmos DB, then you need to create another account but you could have multiple databases inside the same account. Similarly, inside, inside the one database, you could have more than one container. So you can have multiple containers. So now in Cosmos, within database, we create containers or rather we can create one or more containers. Uh, you can relate containers as tables in the SQL server. If you're coming from the SQL background, okay? So if I have to put the uh, account, uh, it, it is more like, how, how could I relate it? So we have account, then we have databases. So if you're coming from SQL or relational DB background, you can assume or relate as a SQL server database, the database level, account, database, containers. So database is just like the SQL Server database and containers is more like tables in the SQL Server. That's, that's how you can relate it. Now inside containers, we have items and items you can relate it with the same analogy as rows, rows in the SQL, right? So it makes a kind of hierarchy uh, where top level is uh, account, then database and then container and finally items. And you can have more than one uh, inside uh, every hierarchy, right? So uh, if you're following the SQL analogy, well, there is a small difference. We generally define store procedure, user-defined function or other objects at the database level in SQL. But in Cosmos, we generally talk about the container level. So stored procedure can be defined for each container or user-defined function can be defined inside the container and other objects can be defined uh, inside the container, right? So now as per uh, API terminology gets a little different for database. So this is something that we, we need to understand. Uh, for this hierarchy that we're talking about, this is not the same for every API. We were talking with the default uh, API that is SQL, but these database container items can be called something else if you are using a different APIs. And we'll see it as per uh, a little chart that I've created on, in Excel. So let me share my screen and help you out to understand what I'm talking about. And I'll also take you through this container account concept through the diagram, uh, which really helps. I, I, I used to call them mind maps. It helps you keep the things in your mind. So let me share my screen quickly and take you through. Okay, now as you see, yeah, this is the same thing that I have repeated a couple of times. Yeah, 
that's the behavioral i think i would like to make sure like the message has passed completely to the other side and i hope you're getting it so if we go like this is the entire structure let me take this and this is the entire structure of uh, the cosmos where the top level we have uh, account and then we have database it could be more than one so let me make it my <laughs> database uh, then we have uh, containers that was acting like a, a table if you're coming from the sql analogy if you're following the sql analogy you're coming from the sql background or relational db and these under containers we have items and these store procedures using defined functions are all defined inside the containers okay this is what i was uh, totally talking about and items are your rows okay now take this container here and you see depending on the cosmos api a container is realized as okay so that means as per the apis the naming or the terminology gonna change same goes with the this uh, items so don't no need to worry i'll show you i have created something in the excel this would be very interesting so let me minimize this or let me open my excel where is my mouse all right there we go so this is what i was talking about let's suppose these are the cosmos entity down like database container items that we are talking about as of now and if you're using a sql api database would be called database container would be called container but the item is called document in the sql api okay now the first level the database all the apis if you're using every one of them is calling a database except cassandra which call it key space and now if you talk about the container cassandra call tables mongo call it collection and gremlin call it graph we talked about the gremlin in pretty pretty vast detail so you would understand why it's graph nodes and vertices if you remember right and table api call it table to the container now if you're talking about items sql and mongo json and basin both are document right so these items are documents and gremlin are no node or edge we already knew uh when you're discussing it we discussed it very well in in api same goes with the mongo and sql we discussed it very well in the api video of ours now cassandra call it row and table call it item uh, and I'm pretty sure if you're preparing for the examination, uh, which involves Cosmos, this, this would be, you'll find one of the question from this namespace. Okay. So this is the end of the video. And uh, I hope this was informative to you guys. And thank you for watching and keep working out. Take care. Bye-bye.